keeps you busy though. Especially during the downtimes when you when you basically can't cook because you know it's not time yet. Lunch finally finished and with my responsibilities and with it my responsibilities for a while. Lovely picture here. I think I'll go help help Sono Sensei while I have free time before starting dinner. But I should probably take a little break. I don't get a lo lot of re relaxation. Relaxation? Time while doing all this cooking and helping. That's what I thought anyway, so I decided to take a little walk. The air outside was hot, so I'd been cooped up in the cafeteria kitchen so long that it that the open space would be worth it. Good work, Yuna-san. Lunch was great again today. Yeah, yeah. It's time to eat. Megumi shows up in the cafeteria and sticks to me, sampling the taste of the food. I enjoy hearing about your cooking from Megumi, Yuna-san. So Sachi-san says, but Megumi's re reviews appear to be based entirely on her own preferences. I wouldn't recall... I really call them a good reference. Like, I like this or I hate this or this tastes too salty. I'm making sure they get extra salt since it's summer, you know? They don't show up at night when I'm sleeping or in the shower or bathroom while I, when, when, where I really want privacy. But other than that, I basically have no idea when or where they are going to appear. Actually, they spy on the most private moments of some people, don't they? Like Ichika-san and Hutano-san. Well, that was the only occasion so far. You know, your face is bright red. Are you getting heat stroke? No, I'm fine. Oh, she was thinking about them again. I was just imagining it a little. Seriously, why are they watching that stuff? Well, I know that's kind of their goal, but do they really have to tell me about it? I haven't really been able to make eye contact with Ichika-san or Hutano-san since this morning. Are they going to tell me about it whenever that kind of thing happens? Like with Aihara-senpai, Tsunugimine-san? Oh, Sachi-san, look over there. My, it's Yuka-chan and Aki-chan, isn't it? Or those two. I can't really imagine those two, though. I followed their gaze to the memorial tree and found Yuka and Arya-san in its shade. They looked like they were having a happy chat about something. Come to think of it, Yuka's makeup classes ended today, right? It seems like she'll be done with that sort of... With that song of hers uh, she showed me, too. And with her classes done and how she's chatting with Arya-san, Yuka really looks like she's having fun. And also, like, Ad uh, Aki definitely, you know, when... When she saw, like, Yuka coming down, or, like, running, basically running down the hallway, she also kind of eased up, you know? She's really pretty serious, pretty strict, disciplinary comedy, obviously. But, yeah, whenever Yuka's around, she's pretty light. She's really, you know, she, she, she's just a little bit uh, more, how do you say? She lets loose a little bit, you know? She's not as strict, which I, which, which I definitely like. What are they talking about? I wonder. It looks like they're enjoying themselves. Let's go listen, Sachi-san. Yes. These two really seem like they're having fun. I get that they like spe speaking? seeing girls spending time together and we're helping those girls, so... But can they really just get away with anything because they're ghosts? You wanna come, Yuna? <laughs> they're gonna... They're gonna see you, her. Why do, <laughs> why do I have to eavesdrop on them too? It's not eavesdropping. You make it sound so awful. We'll be listening right where they can see us. <laughs> Except they can't see you. It's not like there's anywhere to hide around them. So if I went along, they would really see me. Actually, you shouldn't be asking me to go eavesdrop on someone's conversation in the first place. How inconvenient for you, Yuna. Why wouldn't it be? Then we'll just leave you here. Oh, Sachi-san, wait for me. <laughs> Looks like Sachi-san's already over by the Inoki tree. She seems mature and polite, but I guess that once you're a ghost... Well, there they go. And I feel a little stupid just staring off at Yuka and Aryu in the distance now. Guess I should continue my walk. <laughs> After walking around for a little, I double backed by the memorial tree to find Yuka and aryu san already gone. They must have left. I needed to get back to the Hoshkan building too. There was still work to do in the math club room. And when I was about to head back into the school building... Oh, there you are, Yuna. They found me. We were looking for you after you left. Did Yuka and aryu san leave? Yes, just now. Aki-chan went back to the Oshkan building. Did she? I should get back there too. Don't, um... Ah. What's with the nerves on that Yuka girl, though? I don't get her at all. <laughs> what about Yuka now? Well, you see, we are listening to the conversation and... Yuka-san spilled to Aki-san <laughs> that she's gonna confess to her on the stage at the school festival. You don't do... Oh my god, that's... You don't... Why? Exactly! That doesn't make any fucking sense! How should I know? I was surprised too. Why did she tell her n tell her now for? Yes, we're not sure why. I imagine she just let it slip in her excitement. She didn't seem aware of aware herself that she had let the secret out. 
is that really possible to reveal what you're planning to the very person you're trying to keep it a secret from? Possible. It might be for Yuka. She wasn't all cautious in her conversations with me about it. It didn't take her long to bring up the subject when we met a few weeks ago. She was already asking for advice then and telling me about the person she was in love with. I kind of get the feeling she's just fundamentally incapable of having secrets. And Arya-san heard this, right? Yes. But Aki-san, it must have been a bolt from the blue for Arya-san, right? No matter how bad Yuka seems like she'd be at, she'd be at keeping secrets, she, sh she couldn't have been ex expecting her to do something like that. And to tell her that she was going to confess on her, to her on stage at the school festival, if she told her that, did Yuka not even consider that Arya-san might reject her then and there? Though it's because she doesn't think that she said it. She smiled. M smiled. Yes. And she told Yuka-chan we who hadn't noticed that she was looking forward to it. Huh. What does this mean? She's looking forward to it, so she's open to Yuka's confession. What do you think that means? I don't know. Does it mean that she's, <laughs> she's got a chance that Aryu-san might accept it, even after hearing that crazy plan for her confession? I mean, it's gonna be on stage on the, at the school festival, all sorts of people are going to be watching, and she's gonna get confessed too. Oh, sorry. Could Aki-san actually be quite the catch? I wonder. Well, she must be pretty patient to be friends with Yuka. For a disciplinary committee member like her to be friends with Yuka, a serial latecomer. But Yuka's a woman. Same as her. She wasn't surprised to hear something like that from someone of the same sex. She's looking forward to it. Ah, jeez, I really don't get it. Nah, dear son. I wonder if the world's actually pretty different from what I was considering common sense. <laughs> yeah, there are some really unlikely pairings, definitely. Those two might be the most unlikely ones, though. <laughs> like, just from the personality. But, you know, as it says... What was it? Um, different personalities attract each other. Something like that. I don't know the exact wording because, you know, I'm a native German speaker, obviously. Good evening. Oh. Oh. Third... <laughs> Is that gonna be third base for Futano and Ichikawa-san? Oh, Nina-san, what's up? After cleaning up dinner, I'd come back to my room for a break. Hina was already there as if it were completely natural and we're heading out... Hanging out, reading magazines and manga and such with when Nina-san wandered in too. You want to sleep here again tonight? Mm, I don't know. Nah, I just came to say hi. Shit. Oh, yeah? Well, more like Umi and Sasa have been really weird. Oh. Weird, like, because they've... I can't really think of any other reason. <laughs> I get them being in a good mood because we fi finally finished our script, but... It's like we've been fooling all around all day since we don't have anything to do for the camp anymore. But, like, they're all hyper, then they'll suddenly get quiet and mellow. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I can't stop picturing these two in my head. I wonder what they did. It's not like I've heard from Sachi-san and Megumi. They're all fussing about me too, not as annoyingly as they were before, but what the heck is that about? You know anything, Yuna? Well, nah, I wouldn't really know. I can tell her that I do, that I do, but I mean I really don't. Now, know that what they're feeling right now, that is. Ah, jeez, I really wish I could stop imagining all this stuff. What's up, Yuna? Your face is bright red, do you have a fever? Huh? Got the coronavirus! <laughs> Did Hina's face get right in front of mine? Is that her hand touching my forehead? It might be kinda hot. Hina's hand feels a little cold. That alone is enough to tell me how hot my face is. It feels like my temperature is going up just from her touch. There we go, yeah. You might have a fever, you know me. I'm good, it's nothing. I've gotta get away from Hina. I'm sorry, Hina, but you really can't touch me right now. Alright. Why is my face getting so hot? Because I was imagine because I was imagining Ichika-san and Futano-san, but it was Hina's touch that made me that made my fa face so red. It's why my heart is pounding so loudly too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's getting more and more intense. Getting more and more intense. Jesus. I was about to say, please don't let it end. I mean, that's the I guess that's the last day of the summer camp, right? I think so. And then we should get to the different pairings. Maybe. 
Even though there's little, still a little bit space between, like, you know, in, 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 in that particular month, though. It's finally the seventh day of the camp. We actually go through all seven ones. That's pretty cool. Tomorrow morning, a closing meeting will mark the end, and then it'll be over. With the track team taking the afternoon off from pack... Pack... From practice, it's really started to feel like it's coming to a close. It was my first time staying at school for a whole week. Maybe that's why it felt so busy. Well, it's probably also that cooking for the track team turned out to be um, only a part of everything I did. Helping Sono Sensei, helping the spirits, all sorts of things. I wonder if that <clears throat> is if that if this is what working is like. If so, my mom and dad must really have it hard. Well, not seven days a week. Huh, Tsurugimina-san. While walking around lost in thought, I ran into tsunagimine san just as she appeared around the corner of the stairs. Oh, Tomi-san. Tomi-chan. Sometime during... <laughs> I was about to say. Sometime during the summer camp, tsunagimine san had started calling me Tomi-chan. I'm pretty sure it was Tomi-san before that. Maybe because I've been helping her out every day. It's the same with Adiyo san I guess getting closer to others different... I guess getting closer to others is different for everybody. There we go. How's your break? Are you guys relaxing? You've been working flat out this entire week. You've really earned it. We did everything we could to give Tsurugi san and Sono Sensei a break today, so there's no reason they shouldn't be taking one. I'm still a little worried that uh, I'm still a little worried they aren't though. Worried that maybe the two of them, Sono Sensei in particular, are still sneaking some work in today. Definitely. Of course, not like I'm one to talk, but I'm still trying to help these two, I guess. Uh, uh, yeah. Oh, she just looked away. Are they actually doing more work in secret? What's wrong? You didn't suddenly get extra work, did you? Do you need help? Oh, no, that's not it. We're, we're resting, really. We don't have any work thanks to you and adios son. It's just... I guess it's, like, too much rest. <laughs> too much rest. But it's a chance laid up with a fever. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, oh, really? Is she alright? Ah, oh, it's nothing serious. It's just a tiny one. Just as tiny as herself. This happens to Tsuyuka-chan a lot. She'll get a temperature sometimes when she works too hard. I mean, it's cute, because she's, she's like a little kid. Hmm, blue and red lights? Not yet, okay. Anyway, she's sleeping in the club room now. She doesn't need to go to the nurse's office. She doesn't want to. She thinks she they, they'll call in one of the teachers on vacation and she'd feel bad, so... But her temperature will go down if she rests. She's not sick or anything. I'll look after her, so it's okay. Please don't worry too much. She'll feel bad about it. Yeah, well, if you say so. We've got we've got cold pack stuff in the club room too, so don't worry. We are prepared for this. That their club room is well stocked for this. <laughs> for this is concerning too, really. Where are you going then, Tsurugimine san? You don't need to stay with her. Oh, well, she's leaving right now, so I thought I'd go buy something to drink. You know. I see. Ah, oh, I know. I'll be in the cafeteria cooking anyway, so I can make her some rice porridge while I'm there. Oh, really? That would be great. Why don't you call me when Sono Sensei wakes up? I'll get it ready for you. Thank you. I wanted to make something for her, too. I'll call when Tsuyuka chan wakes up, then. Got it. So, Sono Sensei got a fever. It's kind of like... It's kind of just like tsurugimine san said. Working so hard, she overloaded. She's just like a little kid. I still no flashing lights. I'm sure how much she was doing. Uh, I'm sure how much she was doing was a problem too, though. I think she was a little overburdened, no matter how you slice it. And now that she's finally got a break, she has to sleep through it. it she has to sleep through it. At least to the given sons watching over her, that counts as as alone time in its own way, right? Kinda, yeah. Well, yeah, totally, actually. Not like not like the alone time that we probably would like. That we would like for them to have, but yeah, alone time nonetheless. I feel then earthenware pot with rice and earthenware? Sure. Pot with rice and water as I started the porridge for Sono Sensei. And after finishing those preparations, I started on the task I'd originally come here to do. I selected the meals ingredients from my supplies and measured them out carefully. I took the tools I'd use I'd be using from the drawers and hangers and laid them out in the order I need them. What I was about to make was a bit different from regular cooking, and I'd need to obey the exact steps and por and portions on it, or it would, would, would all go to waste. It's fun going through the steps in my head and readying everything. Executing the process is fun too, and so, and so is following through on this little idea I'd had. That's probably good. That covers the preparations. Now I just need to get it done. Some parts of the process will take time, but that's just letting it sit and baking it. 
If I work qu quickly, the other parts shouldn't take long at all. I should get this done soon before anyone sees... Hmm, you know, Chan, already starting dinner. Bwah. I was surprised enough to shout when I suddenly heard a voice. Inamoto-senpai. It was Inamoto-senpai who would enter the cafeteria kitchen. Why, why? How come? The check team should be on a break right now. I thought everyone would be relaxing in the lodging house. If you're starting now, would you like me to get the first year who's on helping duty today? I don't know, this is just, um... Hmm? Inamoto-senpai strolled over to me and peered over my shoulder at what I was desperately trying to hide behind my back. What's this now? Tonight's dinner? It looks like... It looks more like you're making sweets. She wasn't fooled for a second, so it's pretty easy to tell if you like to bake. But I guess Inamoto-senpai does. Ah, well... What should I do? How can I dodge the question? This was supposed to be a secret. If she figures this much out, though, I probably won't manage m much misdirection this, especially since it's someone sharp like Inamoto-senpai. It's, uh, sweets. Ah, I thought so. So you can make sweets too, Yuna-chan. Well, yes. I considered the possibilities one more time. Maybe I should tell her I'm um, baking a cake just for fun since I've got some free time today. Uh, I'm not doing anything else today, so I bought some ingredients and thought I'll do a little baking. Uh, just for fun. I'm on my own. Is that so? Oh, could this work? This might work. Seems like a lot of ingredients just for that. No good. She didn't buy it. A smile had crept up in Inamoto Senpai's face now. You've got all those cake pla pans out too. You must have quite the sweet tooth. Yeah. Well, how about letting me know what you're really up to now? I knew it. She must have caught up at some point. Now she's just teasing me. <laughs> okay. Does her composure come from the one year difference between us or am I just a natural disadvantage here? It's dessert for tonight. I thought so. You didn't mention it this morning, though, did you? I thought I'd make it for everyone at the camp. It was kind of supposed to be a surprise. I see. The advisor of the track team and the coach have both approved. Um, They also said paid for the, all the ingredients. I thought everybody would enjoy dessert after dinner, so... And that wasn't so hard, was it? <laughs> ah, I ended up telling her everything, and I was trying to keep it a secret, too. <laughs> yeah, like... Th there we have, that's also the same thing that she has in common, sorta, with Yuka. To a certain degree, however, she still tried to hide it, obviously. I'll keep it quiet, then. Huh. Well, you want it to be a surprise, right? I'm not gonna ruin your plans or anything. It sounds fun. Uh-huh. I love things like this, too. Though I suppose I like being the, the surpriser more than being the surprised. So I'm glad I found out about your plan. I'm looking forward to it now. I see. Ha! Ah, I don't think I'm really a match for her, but I'm glad that, I, that she's understanding. I guess there's not much I can hide from her, huh? Though I suppose it's this is just like you, Yuna-chan. Huh. You not only came up with this, but you got the teacher's permission and funding, t funding taken care of too. Not everyone would be able to plan something like this so well, I think. I bet Matsuri would just do whatever she thought of and worry about the rest later. I'm impressed by your foresight, Yuna-chan. Nah. I think it's just that I know what sort of things need to be approved and planned out when you're working with this many people, really. Probably from what I learned at, as the president of the cooking club. You're well prepared and con consider it too, but you must be a pretty hard worker, Yuna-chan. I don't think of it as a hard work. You think so? You think so? That's the sense I get. That you're sort of like me. You might... <clears throat> think you're doing a little too much, but you can't stop yourself from doing it. You're willing to do extra work even if it's... Uh, yeah. You'll do... You're willing to do extra work if it's for everyone else. It's probably not something I should really say, but you take pride in these sorts of thankless tasks, right? Though sometimes those well-intentioned in things might be misunderstood. Mm, yeah, she's going somewhere. Having someone like you in the club is a big help, Yuna-chan. I don't suppose you'd like to join the track, t track team too, would you? As the manager. There we go. <laughs> what? Is she scouting me? Didn't Arya-san do kind of the same thing for the disciplinary committee a few days ago too? Why am I suddenly getting all these questions? How about it? I'm pretty serious, actually. Matsuri and I are going to have to retire soon, but we'd be relieved to leave the, the team in your care, Yuna-chan. Um, I have to help out at home, so I can't join the club. Really, that's a little disappointing. I bet Hina would be happy to have you too. Hina would. I'm kind of nervous now that Hina's <laughs> name has come up. 
Yeah, Hina's struggling a little now. But I think she'll be become a great athlete if she can get over this hurdle. She's not the fastest runner on the team naturally, but she'll, she'll only get faster and faster with the right practice. But most of all, it's just that she loves to run. I really look forward to seeing what kind of athlete, athlete she becomes. That's why I want to make sure she gets good training. I thought Hina would be even more motivated if you were her manager, Yuna-chan. Definitely. You think so, but... I don't know... I don't know she was expecting so much from Hina. Her expectations are probably why she was thinking so hard about which events Hina should run. Hearing something like that from a third-year vice-captain of the track team who had gone to national competitions, I didn't feel bad at all. No, I was happy about it. I'm relieved that Hina can do what she loves with so much support. Well, if it's your home situation, there's not much we can do about it, is there? And you see Hina every day anyway. It might not change things for her whether you're he her manager or not. Uh-huh. Hina's something of a favorite, even among the rest of my juniors on the team. She's a bit odd, but there aren't too many girls who have as much fun as her and take track so seriously too. Really. Yes, I wouldn't say I favor her, but I would say she's my favorite. <laughs> If she were a little taller, she'd be more my type, I think. <laughs> just kidding. Huh. What did Inamoto-senpai Inamoto just say? Her type. Inamoto-senpai's been dating Amishima-senpai for a long time, right? Which means, of course, that she's attracted to women. With short hair. Is that what she meant by type? Well, I guess I'll, I'll get out of your hair. I'm looking forward to dinner. I wonder what sort of faces everyone will make. See you, Yuna-chan. Keep it up. And she was bright red <laughs> again.